1996, electric cars began to appear on roads all over California. They were quiet and fast, produced no exhaust, and ran without gasoline. Ten years later, these futuristic cars were almost entirely gone. What happened? Why should we be haunted by the ghost of the electric car? The exciting thing about this is the cost of operating the car is the same as if you were driving a typical gasoline car, but the gasoline only costs 60 cents a gallon. I plug it in at night, and when I need to drive it, I unplug, drive it away. Believe it or not, that sucker goes. That really? thing will take you so fast you could get a ticket. Wow, I didn't know this existed. H how come I don't know about this? Have you seen this on TV? people who control the marketplace today, the oil companies, have a strong incentive to discourage alternatives. They make too much money with their technological stagnation and the internal combustion engine. For the last 15 years, they've been telling us the fuel cells are 10 to 15 years old. There's still a roughly a trillion barrels worth of oil in the Earth's crust. That's a hundred trillion dollars worth of business yet to be done. General Motors made a commitment to the Hummer because they could see the Hummer would make them money. The electric vehicle is not for everybody. It can only meet the needs of 90% of the population. We're up against the automobile industry, the oil industry. It's David versus Goliath. Who killed the electric car? Lack of corporate wisdom. Uh, in my opinion, it's, it's big oil. The murder was committed by the General Motors company. What's interesting, you're going to be shredding some new cars. Why are you shredding them up? A little bit of a mystery, really. Well, that seems like a shame. I think it will go down as one of the biggest blunders in the history of the automotive industry.